Hello Scorpio, this is Renee and welcome back. This is going to be your March reading, March 1st through the 15th. We're going to go ahead and dive right in. Let's get your energies. Energies for Scorpio, March 1st through the 15th. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Okay. Okay, we have recovery. And we have grief. Okay, there's some, something that you're recovering from, Scorpio. Um, there's something that is in your energy. I feel like maybe you're releasing something. Let's get some more energies. Let's see what this is. Okay, we have earth and ground. Maybe the need to feel grounded. Find your balance in some way. Yeah, definitely. Um, clear, cancel, and release. So there's definitely something that you're releasing. But I feel like it's something that was very hard for you to do. It's something that you're grieving. Um, something that wasn't very easy for you to release. Or um, kind of let go of. To move past okay you have angelic protection so I feel like you know Scorpio um, that through this process that you're going through um, through this recovery period you have angelic protection you have your angels watching over you as you go through this um, let's get some tarot let's see what's going on for Scorpio March 1st through the 15th. What's going on for Scorpio? Okay, we have the Hermit. So you may be isolating yourself. Um, we have the Magician. We have the Page of Pentacles. We have the Moon card. So I feel like there's there's things that, that you're trying to work through, Scorpio. I feel like you're spending a lot of alone time because you're trying to kind of realize the reason for what is happening. You just want to create something that makes sense right now. And I feel like with this moon card here, I feel like you're you're still looking for answers. You haven't really found the answers that you're looking for. Um, but something is not apparent to you. Something just doesn't quite make sense. But I feel like you're going to come to the answers. You're going to find some... I want to say you're going to come you're going to come to some valuable information that's going to help you through the situation. Um Very interesting, Scorpio. There's been a lot of ups and a lot of downs for you, Scorpio. I feel like as soon as you hit a breaking point, you hit another downfall. Um, I feel like you're in this revolving cycle to where when things are good, they're good. But then you're kind of anticipating something going wrong and something else happening. And then because you're anticipating it... You're actually manifesting it. You're actually bringing it to life. Because I feel like there's so many ups and downs for you, Scorpio. Um, I feel like the last reading I did for you was, was a really good reading. And now this month, we're back to square one. We're back to, you know, you having to release something or going through some kind of recovery. So, and I feel like you're like in this cycle to where you may be around negative people or you may be just speaking negative things into existence because um, whatever this negativity is, I feel like that's what's being manifested. If you're speaking negative things, Scorpio, stop. 
Stop. Talk positive to yourself and to others. Speak positivity into your life. Um, the things that we speak, we manifest. So stay positive in your thinking and what you're saying to yourself and to others. Um, usually when I'm having a negative thought, you know, we all do. When I'm having a negative thought, I'll just clear it. Stop. And I'll go immediately to something positive. You know, um, I kind of push away from that negative thinking. Okay. Uh, but I feel like there is someone here who's bringing value. It may be a young person. A, a young person is bringing some kind of value, uh, valuable information to you. Um, or this could be a offer of some kind. Some kind of communication that you find as valuable. Okay. Um, let's get some more energy. We also had the page of wands at the bottom. So, yeah, you definitely have people around you. But I feel like these are young people. These are young people around you. Maybe you're surrounded by younger siblings. Or maybe you have um, children who are like teenagers or young adults. But I feel like these people are young. And they're like um, maybe immature at times but I feel like with this page of wands energy um, I feel like someone is trying to like speak in your ear to give you ideas let's get some more energy for Scorpio what's going on for Scorpio okay we have the world card so definitely coming to a completion. We have the Two of Cups. Some kind of partnership. The Sun. Okay, so this recovery period only lasts for a, mo a moment. Um, yeah, the Four of Swords. Okay, so we have the Star at the bottom. So you're still going through healing. Um, the 1st through the 15th. You're still going through healing. You're... But you're coming to a completion. Something, some lessons that you've learned. Something that you're going through. You learn those lessons. And I feel like someone's coming in to bring you some kind of enjoyment. This may be this Ace of Pentacles who's bringing you enjoyment. You know, because I feel like it's a young person. I feel like it's a young energy, okay? Um, but now if you are looking for love, there is a possibility of love here with this Two of Cups energy. And next to the sun, I feel like um, it could possibly be very enjoyable, very exciting, um, this new love that's coming in. Um, if you're not looking for love, this may be partnership or friendship that's being uh, created here. Okay? Um, but I still feel like you're, you're still recovering. There's something that you're still recovering from. You're still healing. You're still focused on uh, yourself and your healing. Okay? Um, yeah, there's some kind of... Maybe it's some kind of codependent situation. But I feel like you're almost waiting for this to end and waiting for something new to begin with this energy. Okay, let's clarify these cards a little bit. We're going to clarify these cards, Scorpio. What is going on for Scorpio March 1st through the 15th? What is Scorpio releasing? Why is Scorpio going through recovery? Okay, we have the world card in reverse. So I, I feel like 
you're going through recovery because there's some kind of lessons that you haven't learned. Some kind of repeated cycle that you keep repeating. Um, we have the world card on top of the the hermit and right above the world. So I feel like, you know, you go from being this solitary person to trying to figure out where you're going wrong. And I feel like these cycles are steady repeating because you're not learning from what you're going through. Okay. If, if cycles are repeating, that means that we haven't truly released the energies that are that keep making these cycles repeat we haven't learned our lesson okay but the good news is i feel like you know come the second row you're learning that lesson you're finally making a completion you're finally moving on but um now with this hermit card and this solitary time that you're going through i feel like you just haven't come to the conclusion that this cycle is repeating for a reason and that's because you just have not brought yourself to come to the conclusion of why that is okay and i feel like this is within you scorpio um hmm. spirit tell me about this magician card tell me about this magician please what is scorpio creating Tell me what Scorpio is creating. We have the Six of Swords in reverse. So what you're creating is chaos. You're not able to move forward into some kind of calmer space because you're not willing to let it go. You're not willing to move on yet. There's something that you're holding on to, Scorpio. And I feel like you're holding on to it very tight. Um... Tell me about this page of pentacles. Tell me about this page of pentacles spirit. The judgment. The judgment in reverse. You haven't made a final decision on this. Whatever this young person is telling you. Whatever this person is telling you. I feel like you're not believing it. You're not willing to believe what's being said to you. Or what's being revealed. Um, for some of you, I feel like this is a communication that you like are avoiding. You just don't want to talk to this person at all. And that kind of keeps the, it kind of keeps things open ended, you know, because you're not willing to close the cycle. Okay. But I feel like you know this process keeps happening because you're not making a final decision that you're done with this you're not making the final decision that you really want to change this you know may and maybe you're doing it internally maybe subconsciously you kind of feel like maybe this is what you deserve but no you don't scorpio you do not deserve going through a repeated cycle and having to go through this grief and recovery all the time this is just a never-ending cycle okay um spirit tell me about this moon card we have the high priestess in reverse yeah you don't want to trust your intuition. You don't want to. You don't want to change things. Because you feel like you don't deserve any better. But you do. You do Scorpio. You deserve so much better. Look at this. All of these cards are in reverse. That are clarifying. Every single one. So I mean. That's very. That's very disturbing, is what I want to say, Scorpio. There's some things that need to be really looked at. While you're in your solitary mode, there are some lessons that need to be revealed. Okay? That need to be completed so that you can get to this point. So that you can get to this completion. This end of this cycle there's some things that you need to do internally as well as 
sub subconsciously because you need to let yourself know Scorpio that you deserve so much better whatever the situation is however the situation resonates if this is in love if this is in business if this is in your personal life However this resonates for you, whatever cycle this is, this isn't healthy and this is not good for you, Scorpio. This is something that you have the ability to change. You just have to want to change it. Okay? Um, but you have the ability to finally come to this completion. Very interesting energy, Scorpio. If this is a love situation, I feel like, you know, this love situation, you have very high highs, but you also have very low lows. Um, so if this is some kind of love situation this is kind of verging on toxicity but it's very codependent um hmm. tell me about this world card spirits tell me what scorpio can do to release this energy okay okay we have the Ace of Pentacles. So actually what I'm getting with this Ace of Pentacles, Scorpio, is accepting a new reality. Accepting the value within yourself. That is what I'm getting with this Ace of Pentacles. I feel like that's actually going to be the most beneficial for you is to find value in yourself. Okay, um, with the Two of Cups, we have the King of Wands. All of these cards are in reverse. Now look at this. At the bottom of the deck, they're upright. Okay, um, but all of these cards are coming out in reverse. We have the um, King of Wands. I feel like with this King of Wands energy, this King of Wands, I feel like it's very fiery and passionate. Um, at times, I feel like it very, it may very well be really exciting, really um, sensual and fiery. Um, but I feel like this energy is also... very fiery in the way that can also be ex explosive. Does that make sense? Um, I'm, I'm kind of getting explosive with this King of Wands energy. It could be that this person has a temper. This person, hmm, when they're angry, they're really angry. They're explosive. Uh, but I, I really feel that specific word with the king of wands also what i'm getting is that with this king of wands and i feel like you may need to get a restraining order or you may need to do something because i feel like this King of Wands doesn't want to move. They don't want to go anywhere. They're like settled. They're right where they want to be. Tell me about the sun, spirit. Tell me about the sun. Okay, the three of cups. So what's bringing you happiness, what's bringing you enjoyment and... Um, making you feel some sort of contentment is the people who are supporting you. Maybe you have friends around you who are trying very hard to give you advice, but I feel like there's people around you who are supporting you. And now look, that one come out right. That one come out 
Hmm. Tell me about this Four of Swords spirit. Tell me about this Four of Swords. The Queen of Pentacles <laughs> in reverse. Okay. So with this Four of Swords energy, I feel like you're going through this recovery period. You're going through this feeling of very unappreciated. But I feel like it's because you have the lack of stability. You're not stable. You're not stable in whatever situation that you're in. Something is like all over the place. It's not providing you solid ground. It's not providing you any type of balance. It's just keeping you low, keeping you stuck. Not providing any type of stability or support. Usually the Queen of Pentacles, she's very resourceful. You know, she's very stable and secure. But this Queen of Pentacles in the reverse, she's not stable. She's not secure. Maybe it's insecurities that are holding you back. But you need to be more secure with your situation, boo-boo. Definitely. <sighs> Get past your insecurities, Scorpio, so that you can move past this cycle. Okay? Um, yeah, speak to somebody. I feel like you have a, a great need to speak to somebody. To tell your truth. To, you know... Get some kind of valuable information that's going to help you through this issue. And I feel like you're kind of not wanting to talk. You're not wanting to pursue any kind of help. You're just in this stuck energy. It's time for a breakthrough, Scorpio. I feel like you don't want to see the truth. You don't want to hear the truth. You're just letting it be. It is what it is. And you're like leaving it at that. But you're steady going through this endless cycle. Okay. Yeah, we have the magician in reverse. All of these are in reverse. Because what you're creating, it's not, it's not building you up, Scorpio. It's breaking you down. See, he's like bringing what has been created and releasing it. You know, and it should be the other way around. It should be bringing something into creation down to reality. But I feel like you're releasing all the goodness that's being created for you. You're just releasing that energy. Okay, we have the Seven of Cups. So I feel like there's a lot of illusions. There's a lot of there's a lot of things that you aren't really noticing. Um, I feel like you may have some type of commitment issue to where you don't really want to follow through, or you know maybe you start a process and you're like being talked out of it. And I feel like that could be this King of Wands energy to, you know, you, you kind of start this process. Yeah, I'm releasing this energy. Yes, I'm going through recovery. Yes, I'm ending this cycle. And then this person, like, talks you back into the situation. I feel like if 
if you're committed to changing the cycle, you have to make this final decision that this is the reality that you want to bring forth. This is how you want your life to look, Scorpio. This is exactly what you want in a person, exactly what you want out of life. And you're not going to accept anything less than that. You know, I feel like there has to be some kind of commitment on your part, Scorpio, before any changes can be made. You have the support with this Three of Cups energy. You have the support. You have the ability to be happy. But I feel like someone's talking you out of that happiness. Someone's talking you back into this cycle. And I feel like if you're committed to change, if you're committed to changing things, then you have to honor that commitment. Okay? You have to stick with it through the end. It may be hard. It may be really hard. But and I feel like you will be much happier in the long run. Tell me about this. Hmm, give me more messages. Yeah. The King of Swords in reverse. So I feel like, you know, there's someone around who, you who's very stern. They may also be very bitter. Um, not very honest. I feel like the, hon the honesty is not in them. I feel like there's no truth to what they're saying. Okay, we have the two of pentacles at the bottom. So I feel like there's a huge choice that needs to be made on your part. Um, but you do have options. You do have options, Scorpio. And you need to weigh those options very carefully and make your choice. Make the decision, okay? Um, I feel like it's it's very beneficial for you it you have angelic protection you know the your angels are watching over you your angels are guiding you um, through this situation okay uh, let's get some messages for um, let's get some messages for Scorpio what else does Scorpio need to know please okay we have power and intention so only you have the power, Scorpio, to change your position. You need a sacred plan. You need a plan of action. And then stick with the plan. Don't kind of veer off from your path. Because I feel like someone around you is really making you kind of veer off your path and dive back into this repeating cycle. Someone is steady drawing you back in okay um let's get another message for scorpio believe in the impossible scorpio if you don't believe it can be done it can be done you can do it okay you have the ability you have the know-how you just have to have the willpower okay Let's get some more cards for Scorpio. What else does Scorpio need to know for March 1st through the 15th? Okay, freedom. I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. You can be free from this repeating cycle. It is totally up to you. It is totally within your free will. To accept or deny or release anything that is not in your energy. Okay? Um, we also have failure. I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. So there are some lessons that Spirit is letting you know. You need to learn this lesson so that you don't go through this cycle over and over okay mistakes are meant to be learned and avoided you know and I feel like Scorpio
Okay, we have divine order. Do what you feel is right. An important lesson is unfolding. We have this lesson again. Okay, so we also have soul expansion. Your consciousness is expanding. You understand the connections between all things. So, and I feel like, Scorpio, you understand exactly what needs to be done. You can see exactly where this road is leading. And I feel like you're growing. You're expanding. You're listening. Uh, but now you need to set that into motion and, you know, make your move. Okay? Um, that is what I have for you, Scorpio. So... If this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell so, so that you don't miss any uploads. And take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity on your, on your message. Okay? And until your next reading, Scorpio, many blessings to you. I hope this reading helps. Love and light.